We brought the cameras along today to Packington Summers in Coventry. We're following Steve Hemingway through a midweek open match. The lake they're fishing today is Molens, a 60 peg lake. Now there's only a dozen anglers turned up today, probably due to the weather, because it's extremely cold. Winter is finally here. Now today's open match is a little bit different in that it's a rover. So basically, whosever name gets pulled out of the hat first, they get first choice of where they'd like to sit on the lake. And then whoever's name comes out second gets a second choice where they'd like to sit on the lake. Steve, unfortunately, was ninth out of the hat. So the good pegs in the 40s had already gone. Steve went round the lake a couple of times in his van and decided to fish peg two, which is just behind me, just out of the corner. The reason he's gone for peg two is because there's nobody else along the whole of this bank. Now the wind is also blowing into this bank, but it's cold. So we don't know how it's going to fish today. Steve's going to keep things really simple. He's only got maggots and a little bit of ground bait on his side tray. He told me at the start that he's going to start on the maggot feeder, tight-ish to the island, and then feed a pole line at about 11 metres, and then hopefully catch down the edge. The lake's predominantly F1s and skimmers with odd roach, um, to do any good you need to catch the F1s and they do go up to four or five pounds in this lake. Steve started off on the feeder and really struggled but he's gone onto the pole on that 11 metre line and started to catch lots of indications on his float and started to catch roach, skimmers and an odd F1, albeit a small stamp. He's hoping to catch the larger stamp F1s down the edge later on. We don't want to disturb Steve too much today while he's fishing. So we'll catch up with him at the end and ask him to run us through how it's gone today. So the match is just finished and the scales have gone. Steve's weighed 60 pounds, two ounces. So Steve, 60 pounds, two ounces, are you happy with that? I'll be happy if I've won, but I already know I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve, Steve's the second person to weigh in and because this is a rover today there's been another lake in over the way and someone's at 114 pounds so Steve's second to weigh in first one on this actual lake and we know that uh, Steve didn't weigh 100 pounds he weighed 60 pound <laughs> two ounces so rover Steve why peg two today on Molens? well I used to come here quite a lot but I've not been here for nearly two years I think but um, so I do know odd pegs and I have been looking at where odd pegs have been fishing the last couple of days the matches they had at the weekend and I think they had one on here yesterday and they have been catching but the problem is it's the way to do the rover you have to draw in order so a lot of the more favoured peg, pegs in the 40s were already gone so I was a bit limited what by the time it got to my choice which pegs I could have so I did know a little bit about this peg too so I thought oh, I'd have a go on here I've never fished it so I thought I'd have a go on here and uh, see what it was like. Brilliant well I see you've set basically just three rigs up and you've started or you tell me you've started on the maggot feeder? Yeah I, I, I've, I've come here to keep it simple obviously because I've not fished it so I know maggots this time of year as it goes a bit clearer it can be a good bait so I've just come with maggots I was going to start on a maggot feeder and then I fed a, a maggot line with a little bit of ground bait at 11 metres and then I fed maggots up the edge with a little bit of ground bait again at the start just to kick start it and just fed those three lines really with maggots. Um, I started on a normal maggot feeder, had a couple of indications, nothing, and then I, I thought, well, I want to put a bit of bait in, try and make something happen. So I'd prepared some sticky mag, put a cage feeder on, had a few chucks of that, and I did start to get a few indications, but I didn't catch a, a fish, to be honest, three quarters of an hour, I didn't catch a fish. So I thought, no, I, you know, it's time to come off it, it's not happening. So uh, I came onto my 11 metre line uh, with maggots and started to catch some of those small F1s. I think they've put some new ones in lately and uh, I, I caught, started to catch them. Just loose feeding maggots over the top while I was on the feeder and then kindering it once I started fishing it just to try and tighten the fish up a bit. Um, fishing single or double red maggot mo most of the time and of course some F small F1s and some skimmers and a few nice roach and just mid-match it was ticking along and I thought you know if I can come down the edge in the last two hours and catch some of those big F1s I'll have a chance of getting a, a good weight um, so I've kept looking down the edge and, and nothing's happened for a long time and eventually I've had a few down the edge but 
I caught them for about an hour and they're very finicky you like catch one and you were waiting and then you get another one so the bit the big fish so it's worth waiting for um, but then the last half hour it's gone a bit pear shaped for me so but I've ended up with 60 pounds which this time of year is a great weight especially on this lake and it was a lovely mixed net of fish as well like you said you had roach you had skimmers you had f1s um, it really was nice. What was noticeable today was just how light your floats were. You were fishing in two and a half foot of water. Yeah, yeah. And just I, point ones. Yeah, I've fished, I've fished a point one and a, a, a point two SF2. SF2. Yeah, yeah, which I've adapted the tops. I've got these hollow tops on them rather than the uh, fibre bristles, uh, plastic bristles that they come with. Um, yeah, so fishing light and then I fish um, an, S, an AS3. Um, like a point four on my thirteen on my eleven metre line. Eleven meter. What depth yeah. did you have at eleven metres? It was quite a bit. It deeper. was about five foot. Yeah, about five. Five, foot. maybe six foot. So also today, Steve, I see you've had your floats shot into a pimple in the water. Barely see the bristle. What's yeah. the thinking behind yeah, that? Yeah, well, this time, especially this time of year in F1 fishing, you need to dink your float, uh, dot your float right down. You get a little quick dink off them and plunk her on. They're not going to, if your bristle's sticking out, they'll just feel it and you'll get lots of indications and you won't actually hook anything. So that's the, that's the thinking behind it. And you've had all your floats shot in the same way? All, yeah, all, down. all been dotted right down, yeah. yeah it's For been, the same reason. Yeah, yeah, it's been noticeable when those fish have come in the peg, you have been able to see indications, so at least you knew they were there. Yeah. And then it was a patience game waiting for them to take it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, great performance. So you started the match by cupping in ground bait, and then I see you topped up a couple of times with ground bait, Steve. Do you think that made any difference today? No, I think it was probably the wrong thing to do. At the time when I was catching a few F1s on my 11 metre line, I, I thought it was time just to try and see, try and learn a bit about the way to feed it for later in the match, and I tried it and I didn't get a good response, so uh, I, I didn't do it again. And, and that really led me down the same route with my edge peg. I just persisted with loose feeding maggots and stuck with that all day, and I think it's probably the right thing to do at this time of year. With it going a little bit clear, I think there's just one maggots now, not so much ground weight. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's, that sounds about right today. And the water is, is very cold today. And oh yeah, it's been cold today, I'm, you know, I'm cold now. Um, but yeah, the water's been cold, it's been, you know, we're getting very close to winter now. Well, it's just upon us. I mean, last night, I think it was written down to three degrees last night, and I doubt if we've hit double figures today, um, it's been very cold. And then that sun finished in front of you and it made it really awkward to see you float. And yeah, yeah. It yeah. really was tricky. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's been a nice day, I've enjoyed it. It's been a bit different for me. You know, it's the first time I've done any of this for, since I was in Whiteacres last year, so... Uh, We'll be off there soon, so this is a nice bit of practice, get me in tune for the F1s down there. That's been great. Well, yeah, £60, two ounces. We don't know where that's going to be yet, so we'll let the rest of them weigh in, and then we'll see where you finished overall. I would imagine you'll still be right up there. Looking at the performance today, you've uh, just rotating those lines. You've kept fish coming most of the day, so unless someone's had some bigger fish around the other side of the island, I think you'll be there or thereabouts again. Hopefully. Yeah, brilliant performance again today, Thanks Steve. Thanks very much, Steve. Really enjoyed it, mate. Cheers. Thank you. So before we load the cars up and head off back home, lessons learned today, Steve. What's, what's the biggest lesson you've learned from today? Well, the biggest lesson learned for today was really, I did it on purpose, really, just to make it a bit better for your filming today. I only fished one side down the edge because I thought it'll leave this end open for you to moot around and do your, your filming and any pictures you wanted to do. But if I was coming again on a normal match, just on my own, without a doubt, I'd feed both sides because you needed to catch one, rest it a little bit while you fed the other one. You couldn't go in and, and catch one after another. When they came down the edge, you were still waiting every time you caught, caught one, you had to wait for the next one. If I'd have been feeding both sides, I'm sure I'd have gone up the other side and nicked one the other side and then nicked one the other side. So, you know, I would have had, I'm sure I would have had a bit more. Lovely, that. yeah, just blame me, that's fine. I can, <laughs> I can live with that, that's great. And to be fair, Peg 60, I don't know the guy over there, Peg 60, um, but he has fished both edges at the end and he's done exactly yeah. what you've said. I, he has I think without a doubt, if I'd have been here on my own, I'd have won the match. <laughs> Thank you very much, my buddy. Well, it's been great today. I've really enjoyed it, Steve. Thanks ever so much. Brilliant. Cheers, Cheers Steve. Buddy. Perfect. Right. That's a wrap. Grand.